Hey everyone, Emmylou here. So today I want to show you my painter days. So I'm an artist, I'm a muralist and I'm an art tutor and I decided to just paint 365 paintings. So I did one a day basically and out of all of the ones I've done for that year, these are the ones that I like them but they're not my favourite. And then I've got these that are my favourite, so I absolutely love these. Um, so I'm going to show you them because I just think it would be really cool to just give you an idea of what I paint, it will give you an idea of what you can paint and I just think the more you paint, the more you do art, the more you become more skilled, the more you become confident, the more your self esteem rises and also the quicker you are at doing things. So now when I get given commissions to do, I'm a lot quicker. So I'm just going to show you all my paintings. So there's one, a little blackbird. I'm literally going to go through them. I absolutely love painting. <laughs> you can probably tell. There's something about birds that I absolutely love. And you got absolutely love robins. Robins are my favourite. Cupcake, so cool. I loved doing that one. I really enjoyed this one because it was really playful. I would say most of them took... I mean it's funny because as you get into it you find that some of them take... This is a really nice angel one that I loved. Some of them can take me 20 minutes and others can take me four hours. I use water soluble oils and I use thick watercolour paper and it's so easy for you to achieve doing a paint in a day because it could just be anything that you like. So say you absolutely love giraffes, <laughs> you could literally just paint a giraffe a day or just aspects of the giraffe, like this one I love. It's funny because some of them didn't take that long. I really like the drip effect in my own artwork. So if you can see, I always put some drips in there. This is my licorice, which I absolutely love. Love licorice. I've turned most of them into greeting cards, which I'll show later on. But what's really cool about this is um, out of the 365 paintings, I sold probably about 53. And out of the cards, out of all of them that I made into greeting cards, I've probably sold well over a thousand. And it's just, I don't do it to sell it. I do it because I love doing it. And I think that's what's really nice when you're doing art. If you know that something relaxes you and you really enjoy it, then it's really, really cool to just sort of practice. I love eggs. I, I had this thing about I really loved eggs for a while. There's something about birds though that I love. And food is awesome. I don't like that one that much actually. <laughs> I think that's in the pile of I'm not sure. love a jam tart. Who doesn't like a jam tart? Probably quite a few people. I love the egg yolk. So I don't, I haven't actually counted, but I would probably say there's about 100, maybe 150 here. That one I like. Love a giraffe. I'll try and go a little bit Quicker. I don't know if you'd want it to go quicker. If you want any of these, let me know. Because I sell the original still. Most of them, people want copies. Uh, smaller copies. But it's such fun being an artist because a lot of people think that you're always going to have no money. 
but it's not about that it's about when you follow your passion of something that you love then inevitably you'll make money from it whether that's being an illustrator or being a photographer or even a film producer anything that's creative even if you absolutely love maths you'll make money from it because it's your passion so maybe think about what your passion might be I'd say mine is definitely art but I absolutely love nature as well like I like being outdoors and it's really nice to teach as well I like to pass on my knowledge to people this one's kind of cool I put splodges all over my blackbird I like that one a lot of birds there isn't there <laughs> then we've got the lemons I've got an Etsy shop called Emmy Lou I think it's Emmy Lou Payne today <laughs> can't remember now so if you have a look on Etsy I sell my greeting cards and my original paintings I love it the chicken is cool and also I do commissions if anyone wants me to do anything someone asked me to do their rabbit the other day and I did that and that was really cool it's just you know what it's so nice when you practice doing one a day because what happens is you just get more and more almost like more and more skilled like oh it's upside down <laughs> your ability to paint and to draw becomes stronger so your art pieces just look amazing and also it's nice to experiment like I love this one this one's really nice didn't take long at all this one it's nice for christening love apples those apples and eggs is what I really like like you'll find that there's like maybe a couple of months where you might paint only seashells or oh, for me it was apples and eggs and then I went on to birds that's my logo of my business and I really like that one a lot of what I painted were from dreams so I had a dream of this one um, I was wearing this particular fabric and I thought ooh I want to paint it so it's really nice to I'm not that keen on this one <laughs> it's nice to paint ones that paint pictures that you have almost dreams about some of them I'm not that interested in, but I thought I'd show them because they're different. I like this one, I could imagine this one in a restaurant. Nearly there guys! <laughs> Be interesting wouldn't it if you had all your artwork together, because my GCSE and A level artwork unfortunately the school moved um, venues and they lost all my artwork and they had kept it before and it was, um, I love my artwork but a lot of it got lost in the move so it's quite nice to create your own again <laughs> there's my little portfolio or sketchbook I'll be doing a video about how to create a sketchbook because it's really useful to keep it's like a little book or a big book of all of your ideas and your experiments and just things to do with art really things to do with your creative process I really like this one I, I turned it into a greeting card and it sold really well some days obviously I found it really difficult to paint because some days you're not in the mood but it's really nice to just sort of keep at it push yourself because there will be some days that you're not really in the mood to paint but if you gave yourself a challenge of doing a paint in a day even if it's just a sketch a day I think it would be a really nice thing for you to try and there isn't anything there's no negative about doing this because inevitably you will become stronger at creating art you'll become quicker you will get more confidence your self-esteem will definitely rise and if someone says oh can you draw me a rabbit you'll just be able to do it you'll have that natural ability stones nearly there 
I've got the um oh, I like him. He's really soy. <laughs> it's my little my little um mouse. Nearly there. And then la la. So those are my paintings um, that I like the most out of my 365 paintings for that year. Obviously I've painted loads of other paintings, but I set myself a project of doing one a day for a year and I, I was just super happy with what happened because it really helped me with my own artwork. I want to show you, um, there was these ones I produced into cards, so I've got the eggs there. And if you can see it's it's by um I used a company called Red Cliff Imaging and it's just the quality is really good. I've probably sold I'd say over a thousand cards um so far. It's nice to just I've got quite a few of the same ones. <laughs> but they're really fun. Some of them um are from cards where I've sold the original painting, so I don't have them to show you, like this one, the original I sold. Ooh, that one I love. And that one's really nice. So yeah, it's sold in quite a few shops. Ta -da! And I just did want to, hang on, I wanted to just show you something. It's, ooh, let's have a little look. Okay. The lighting's gone a bit crazy on the... Okay, so... They're not my favourite, but I just wanted to show you them because I thought, oh, I'll do a bigger version. So this is the big one. Sorry, I'll do a smaller version. So I've got a B there. B there. I've got quite a few Bs. <laughs> There's a B there. I decided because it was locked down, I thought I'd just paint a lock. Wasp. Love my butterfly. My hair. I love hairs. I think if you love something, you need to just try and practice painting it. Toucan, there's something awesome about toucans I love. And my pheasant. So have a go, just literally have a go, because it is really exciting and it's really fun to have this whole portfolio. Like I've got all of these now. Like, how many? <laughs> I've got so many and it's so nice because I can turn them into greeting cards, even more so, I can do more of them. I can put them into galleries, I can sell them as they are, and it's just really good practice to do something that you love. So anything that you love drawing or painting, just have a go, create something, maybe give yourself a task, like you could do one painting a day for a week and see where you go. I also decided to, um, obviously I've got my Etsy shop, but I did these really cool, I just made my own business cards. So every time I send a painting, I send a card with it and a little message and it's a really nice thing to do. I think if, you, if you're passionate about something and you love something, give it a go. Then I will hopefully see some of your designs, like if you send me them in, it's e at emilyuart, the link's below. But send me your work and share it with me because I love seeing what you do. So yeah, see you soon and have a great day. Mwah.